Hello my friend and welcome to Day of Two TV and this special behind the scenes look because usually you only get to see me like this or like this and today you're gonna see what's behind the camera so let's start with this and give you a look that you usually don't get to see and there we go that is the look that I see that you don't see and right now we have an wait I can show you something yep there you see it that's usually the way I look at my monitor and let me give you a brief rundown of the equipment that I use so that is the magic behind the Uya and you see it's just a white wall and two soft boxes to the left and to the right with daylight spirals and uh, one fantastic microphone that's called the Shure SM57 let me see if I can focus it and yes you get to see it in focus and before the microphone there's a pop filter to cancel out those nasty pop sounds that you don't hear right now I hope so yeah and that is a very simple setup but it works and um, the total cost of this setup is I think uh, 300 euros maybe a little bit more depending on the lamps that you buy and uh, from this microphone to my computer um, goes a preamp and that goes directly into my computer and that computer records everything via audacity uh, let me see if you can see it yeah um, you will uh, have all the links in the description but to let me hide something first um, to uh, give you an impression of what really makes uh, the, the, the quality of a video really good that's the camera and I'm using the Canon EOS 550D uh, let me see if I can focus it yes slowly 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 there we go and in America it's called the Rebel T3i and uh, another factor that determines the quality of a video is the lens that you use and I'm using a Tamron 28 to 75 millimeters I used to use a different lens than that let me show you in the very beginning and that's behind here that's my old lens that I was still using uh, back from the days when I had an analog camera and it was pretty okay and something like that would cost like a hundred euros today and the Tamron lens that I'm using today that cost uh, 306 euros and that is much much better but um, now to give you an impression of what it re uh, requires to record something from the OUYA I will change the setup of my yeah of, of my entire setup and uh, we will see you or we will see each other in a couple of seconds alright and we're back with our behind the scenes look and this is the most common um, setup that I run that's the microphone in front of my computer and oh yeah and now you will immediately hear an improvement in sound quality because I'm using the microphone the Shure SM57 now to record my voice and um, yeah so let me show you the most important part in recording Ouya gameplay and let me quickly adjust the microphone so the quality isn't that bad um, there we go so um, this is the Agato Game Capture HD and yeah that's that's how we record Ouya gameplay the, the, there's an HDMI cable going from my Ouya directly into the Elgato and the Elgato 
uh, transmits the signal to my monitor and also via USB over this distance directly into my PC and I use the software um, from Elgato directly that's the game capture software and I'm sorry if the quality sucks for the uh, sound right now but um, yeah here is what's happening with and you can see whatever I do on the Ouya let me do it like this let me do something like this 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 it usually has a slight delay and there we go and yeah that's uh, pretty much how we record uh, footage from the Ouya you can do it in 1080p and 720p and the Elgato costs like uh, 100 50 euro when you buy it new but you can get used ones and what you see right now is the voice recording that I use it's um, the yeah like I mentioned before audacity pretty simple and free software and uh, yeah that is pretty much it except from the microphone arm that I wanted to show you that's this thing here um, with that, I can uh, change the position of the microphone whenever I, whenever I need it. The springs back there are a bit weird. I don't know why they make these cranky sounds. But yeah, that is it now, I think. I hope I didn't forget anything. But um, yeah, it was a pleasure finally getting to show you the behind the scenes. And, yeah, see you in the next video, I think. Bye.